Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here. If this is your first video, how's it going? I'm, I'm a China, I guess, vlogger. <laughs> Normally I'm trying to travel around more, but today we are going to be traveling. I think you've uh, seen a couple of videos of me back in Ningbo after my Chongqing uh, experience and uh, another experience has uh, presented itself, so I'm taking it. I'm going to Nanning to meet with another YouTuber. His name is uh, Guelo60. Uh, kind of a older fella that's uh, found a nice life here in China and uh, enjoys it and makes uh, videos about his uh, opinions of, of things. And uh, we are going to go explore a little Nanning for one day, his home. And then we're going to drive to Guangxi province and we are going to do a bit of a uh, touristy trip. We're going to uh, take a look at the uh, ethnic minority Dong people and uh, we're gonna learn a little bit about them. It's a little rainy here in Ningbo but it's gonna be hot in uh, Nanning and uh, I think it's gonna be a good trip. I have everything that I own for this whole trip uh, stuffed into a backpack. No luggage, no no uh, Eva and Annie so it's uh, gonna be a little bit of a lighter experience. A lot like uh, Chongqing so one of the problems uh, Kirk loves his beer so we're gonna have to try to resist the beer because I am I am retrying to get back on the bandwagon for the past four or five days I have limited my intake of all sorts of carbs and sugars and stuff and I have done really good I'm really proud of myself but this is the test when you go out on a trip and you're entertained and you're fed and uh, you're sort of expected to uh, partake in the in the food and uh, as well as the culture so hopefully the food uh, abides by my diet but uh, i might have to make a couple of sacrifices airport here is very uh conscious for masks all masks are on there's sanitizer at uh, the checkout area and the ticket scan area and there's green codes galore so we're, we're back in the travel mode and uh sort of the new normal in china at least uh, I think once we get to Nanning, you'll be able to take the mask off and relax. I don't, I'm not sure if there's any cases. I, I heard of some migrant workers coming from Myanmar, crossing the border into China and bringing some COVID cases with them. But I think it's going to be okay. Anyways, let's go. Have a good time. Ciao. Yo. wait we've landed in Changsha I just got out of the plane and I'm waiting in line to get back on the plane and continue to Nanning just a light stopover we were really late but I think that we made up a lot of time in the air and then hopefully we'll land on time I think this is my first time to Changsha <laughs> probably be my last time in Changsha <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, back on the same plane. Last time I sat back there, this time I'm sitting up here. Last time a window, now an aisle. Thank God I'm not sandwiched between a couple of fellas. That's a good thing. Aisle or window, I just don't want to be in the middle. All right, we're in Nanning. End of a long day. Bye-bye. I had a lot of trouble getting my code set up, so hopefully it won't be a hassle, but I think I messed it up. I kept trying it over and over and over and over and over, and I ended up getting like a weird error. <laughs> that would not be good. Sometimes these airports are, man, the design is so amazing. It's almost like you're in a, in like a fancy space station. They could definitely film a space station movie here at the uh, Manning International Airport. <laughs> Wow, that was super easy. I, just, I didn't even have to come up with a code. I just walked right in. There was like no code. They were talking to me in that airplane. You need to scan this code. You need to do this. I scanned the code like a thousand times. Every time it gave me a weird, weird uh, answer. And then finally, 
I just uh, exited the plane. I figured I'd figure it out later. And uh, turns out it wasn't even necessary. I even started the code thing. I'm like, do I need to do something? Just go, just go. Where are you coming from? Ningbo, okay, go. Okay. So far so good. Now I'm gonna meet uh, Pen, who's gonna be my partner in crime while I'm here in uh, Nanning. And uh, I'm not sure where she is. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good, can, how are you? Can I take this off now? Yeah, sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> sorry, I, I, for, I forgot, I didn't realize you need a code to get on the bus. Every... I thought I was I thought I was good. I thought I didn't need a code. They let me out of the airport, everything was good. But then I got to the bus and they're like, hey, if you don't have a code, you can't come in here. A little, little hair raising, but it's okay. It just shows how much Chinese I need to learn. This is Pan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be with us the whole time? Uh, unfortunately, no, because I just got injured. Injured? The other, yeah, the other day. Are you okay? What did he say? Uh, they need to do some... Test? Uh, yeah, paperwork or something. <laughs> All right, I arrived at the hotel. Let's see how the chaos continues. Yeah, we're we're hopefully I'll be able to stay here. <laughs> I've run into a free few situations. Actually, you're not wearing a mask. I should be okay. There's a whole new level to, to moving around the world. China is a lot easier than other places, but still. There's a lot of restrictions on our movements. Actually, there was a bunch of hotels that she wanted to put us in, put me in, but uh, wouldn't allow foreigners. So this one was the, the one that allowed me. And even now, maybe they will. I think they will. I think, uh, I've got hope. I hope. Little update. Apparently, <laughs> no foreigners are allowed here. We'll see. Apparently I'm toxic. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed in these parts. I'm gonna have to crash with Kirk. And uh, so that'll be nice. At least uh, I can get to see Kirk tonight, but just not exactly the way that I wanted it to go. I was looking forward to a nice hotel room. Comfortable. Plans changed. Sort of a funny monkey wrench in this whole thing. There's a subscriber of mine that wanted to meet. And so when we got to the hotel, I said, I'm at the hotel, you can come and meet me. And then he started riding his e-bike here and then all this rigmarole happened with me not allowed at the hotel. But he's on his way, I didn't want to tell him to turn around. Ah, nothing's easy. So we're meeting at Starbucks. I'll say hi to him real quick. And then we will continue to Kirk's house. Well, that's not a very good start to, the, to, a, to a trip. I was hoping that uh, because you're going through a company that's sort of arranging it for you, that uh, you're not going to have this sort of hassle. But they said the rules sort of changed last minute and the hotel sort of, I, I guess, was a little bit more stringent than they originally suspected. They said that I was going to be okay when they checked. And uh, I'm not okay. I hope, I hope, I hope what this is is we're just getting these things out of the way early and uh, it's going to be no problem. So. I hope. Hey, you guys know this guy? No, we don't. No. <laughs> we're going this way. Oh, we're where going this way. Going? I don't know. I don't even know this place. Well, this, I'm... this is, welcome to my humble abode. Uh, this is Ho Ji Lu. Uh, it's right by the university, Guangxi University. It is one of the neatest places in all of Nanning City, I'm telling you. And it's dark. The, the whole vibe of this whole area, it's all of, sort of like a university. Yeah, 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 yeah scene and it's it's cool it's amazing it's amazing yeah kirk has uh, has graciously given me the opportunity to sleep on his mat <laughs> you know <laughs> on his well, bamboo because, mat because some uh, some toxic foreigners just can't get a place to live they, I'm they toxic. just look at him and say no no yeah. no 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 they Absolutely looked at not. they looked at my bald head 
Yeah. And they're like, this guy's dangerous. It looks like, yeah, this guy's looks, bad looks news. Like a Russian. See, and and you see these people, they're they're just sitting around drinking beer. It's like life is good. Hello. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kirk enjoys his brew. Oh, definitely. <laughs> but it's, it's only three percent. You see, if if beer was uh, uh, salt water. We could actually drink this and, and uh, rejuvenate our, our water supply in our system because I think it's... We would literally be our own purification system. Well, I am sort of my own <laughs> purification system. Well, they're so cheap and they're everywhere. You should rename yourself Guaylo 40 and we just stop uh, and try to find 40s for you. Guaylo 40. It's time for a Guaylo 40. As a matter of fact, Nanning was one of the last major cities that I uh, crossed through on my way out of here, oh, those many years ago. I'm using a microphone called a Duo um, from Deity, and it has a microphone off the back and the front, so. Whoop, almost tipped over my coffee. <laughs> yeah. So he's going on a a beer reload, a resupply mission to get some beer for himself. Are you disappointed I'm not drinking beer with you on this trip? No, it just means there's more for me, man. <laughs> okay, good deal. Kind of an interesting little nook. We've got a, a guy right behind Kirk there. This is a guy that works in this whole thing. Uh, is that like pretty much all he does is his fans? Uh, yeah, he like repairing electrical motors and stuff? He fixes fans. <laughs> 